Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today I'll be showing you how to install the Rust utilities and tools so you can compile and create your own Rust programs here on Windows 10. I'm here on the rust-lang.org website. I'll make sure to post a link in the description below, but the very first thing I want to do is to download Rust and a tool called Rust Up that will keep Rust up to date on your system. So why Rust? It says right here on the main website, it's great with performance, reliability, and productivity. And if we look down at the various different types of things you can build in Rust, it has options for such things as embedded apps, networking, WebAssembly, and even command line. But what we're interested in is to either hit the install or simply learn to get started. So. I'll click on get started and let's go down just a little bit to the section that says rust up which is the rust installer and version management tool this will help us manage our current version of rust and keep us up to date this is what we want to download the rust up init.exe file either the 64-bit or the 32-bit option depending on which processor you have most people nowadays are on 64-bit processors i'm going to click on this and allow it to start downloading by saving my file to a downloads folder and if you're new and stopping by to watch this video today make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more operating system and programming videos one other thing i will mention before we move on to windows 10 and installing things here is you do have the option to play around in the rust playground here if you just click on the try rust without installing option you get a very minimal and powerful online rust compiler that will let you compile your rust programs right away as you can tell it already says there's a function main that's going to print a line that says hello world we simply hit run and on the right hand side it tells you how the execution went if there were any errors as well as a printout of the standard output which we wrote hello world to I'll also make sure to put a link in the description below for this, so make sure to look for that if you just want to mess with Rust online, at least to get your bearings. And once things have finished downloading, let's make sure to go to our downloads folder where we can select the Rust up dash init executable. We'll run this real quick and that will load a command line that helps us set up Rust. As we see here, the first thing mentioned is that will need the visual CPP build tools in order to successfully install things. So we'll make sure to copy the link here and check out that website as well. And if we just paste that in our favorite web browser, we'll download the build tools and install those before running through the rest of the installation. So we'll save. And once things are done, back in the downloads folder, I have the VS build tools for Windows 10 here. Again, you wanna make sure you have these tools because Rust requires them. And let's double click on this. We're asked to run it as an administrator. Yes, we want to do that. And it says it's the Visual Studio installer. We'll hit continue and there will be a few things fetched for the installation and then visual studio tools will begin installing so we'll give this a moment here so now we get these options of what we actually want to install well c build tools is what we are looking for i'm going to click on that and the defaults here are fine for me so I'm going to hit install. And as we can see, there's about 1.63 gigs that this is going to take. It's fairly large for these build tools, but both the process of downloading and installing the packages will take place simultaneously. We'll give this a few more moments to finish up and then we'll move back to installing Rust on our computer. And once we get this page here where it says the installation has succeeded, we now have the Visual Studio Build Tools 2019, specifically the C++ tools. All right, and back to the downloads folder where I'm going to restart my Rust up dash init executable to install Rust up. Now we can see that there's a different display here. We don't have any errors because we meet all the requirements for installing Rust up. One thing we need to make note of is the command lines giving us information about where the cargo home directory is located, as well as all the tools for Rust, including Rust C, Rust up, 
and other commands. So those are located here in the C users, at least for me, my username, dot cargo bin directory. I wanna make sure to make note of this because we will have to use it later. We're being asked if we wanna proceed with the installation by default. We can press enter or type in one. And now things are starting to get downloaded as needed and then components will begin installing. This might take a few moments. It looks like RustUp detected the tool chain that we need specifically for our system in green. So now it says Rust is installed, great, that's awesome. And here it's mentioned to get started, you need to put Cargo's bin directory inside of the environmental paths. So we want to make sure to copy this line or as we made note of above, we can also use an absolute path in order to point our environmental path to this bin directory. Anyways, we'll do that in a moment, but make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. It really does help me out. So let's press enter to continue. And now we're back to the desktop. Next thing I want to do is go down to the bottom and search for ENV just to get the edit the system environment variables from the control panel. We'll click on either of these and open this up here in the system properties. We do have the environment variables here at the very bottom. Make sure to click on this and inside of here, we're looking for path. After we've selected the path, we can hit edit and we see that C users savvy Nick, at least for me, my user dot cargo bin has already been added. If it hasn't been added for you, you can add it by yourself by just pasting in following, which is what we copied over from the command line earlier, the user profile dot cargo bin. This actually represents the same thing, but might be a little easier to use. By default, it's nice that the Rust installation already takes care of this for you, but it's nice to check and make sure. Otherwise, you won't necessarily be able to use your tools directly from the command line. All right, if we hit OK and make sure to hit OK on this section, as well as the system properties, Let's try to use Rust finally. You're very close at this point. Let's start up a command prompt by going down and typing CMD and starting a new command prompt. I'm currently in the C users savvy Nick directory and I will try running Rust up very first just to make sure that things are up to date and everything is satisfied. We should now have this command available to us if we install things successfully. So I'll press enter. Very good. So we basically got the help section here of all these sub commands we can use for Rust up. So perhaps we want to make an update. We can do that or show the active and installed tool chains. We can simply do Rust up and then show. This tells me where Rust up is located as well as the tool chain and the architecture which the tool chain is compiled for and the current Rust C version for the Rust compiler. All right, the next thing is if we type in Rust up space update, this will make sure that there aren't any updates and it seems like things are up to date. So nothing has changed. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Rust. Let's make our first program. So we can use a tool called cargo and then if we type in new and define our project name i'm just going to call it project this will create a brand new project and a directory tree where you can store your project in so if i do that we see that a new project package or application has been created so let's go to our c users home directory and if i just type dir i'll see that i now have a new directory called project. So you don't necessarily have to make it in this place. You could have changed directories to wherever you want to start your project in. Perhaps you wanted to do the documents folder instead. You could just do CD to change directories, type in documents. And now that I'm in documents, if I rerun the cargo new project, I'll have a new project created in my documents folder. So let's just check that one out by launching a file browser. Going to documents, I see I have this new folder called project and a few things inside of here, which as you're learning Rust, you will learn what this TOML file is. And in source, that's what we're mainly concerned about. 
I see a main.rs file. This is the main file and where our main function resides, where the program starts. You can open this up with any text editor that you want. I'll just open this up with notepad for the time being. In here, I see that I have a function called main and it's printing a line. This is a macro here that says, hello world. So how do we test this out? Well, let's go back to that command line. And since we're in the documents directory, we need to change directories to our new folder called project, since that's where our new project resides. I'll do CD project, press enter. And here is where we can compile our project. The easiest way is to type cargo space run, and this will compile and run the project all in one go. As we see, we have hello world written out to us. Congratulations, you've successfully made your first program and installed all the necessary tools to run and compile your programs in Rust. This can be a little bit of a daunting task for beginners, so I hope this helped you out. And if it did, make sure to share it with someone else who also wants to become a Rust programmer. And that's about it. I wish you the best on your Rust journey. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.